Yo, what is going on? Isaac Mashman here. Hope that you are having a fantastic day, fantastic start to 2021, and welcome to the first ever training video of many more to come. Now, within the past week, I got this fantastic addition to my office, which is a whiteboard. I've already used it to plan out the week, to write out goals, to write out what I'm going to be doing over the following week, all these different things. And I'm thinking to myself, what can I also use this board for? And I recognize that I could do one, one-on-one -on -one trainings that would totally make my life so much easier if I could just you know, write down and jot a couple things. And you're probably wondering, why don't you just use presentations? There's a reason and a method for my madness, right? So whenever you're writing things down, you are actually establishing more neural pathways in your brain. You can retain information better. And I also know that a lot of people are visual learners. It's easy to just get on your computer and type a presentation and type a prezi, but at the same time, it's like, that's the shortcut, that's the easy way out, and I would much rather take it back to old school times, sitting in class, writing on the board, that kind of thing. Um, but anyways, I'm also going to be using this board for trainings. And so today I'm going to be giving you guys a concept, um, and I guess you could say a practice, that is going to completely change your business and change your personal brand if you actually implement the power of three. Now, what a lot of people do is, you know, they turn into a success zombie, they, they study, they do all this research, and they never actually act. So I would definitely encourage you to take what I'm going to be teaching you and act on it. But I would need to give you guys a little bit of a backstory. Now, one of the questions that I get asked more than any other is, Isaac, how do I grow my following? How do I get more Instagram followers? And everybody fails to remember that at the core of building up your business and building up your personal brand is relationships. The more relationships you build, that means the more awareness you have and the more people who are going to know, like, and trust you. That's why it's easier to close somebody who you have already established rapport with than somebody who is a cold prospect, right? You take them from cold to warm to hot. And it's the same thing for building up your brand awareness. You're taking somebody from not knowing who you are to becoming a diehard fan of yours. So it's applicable in business and it's applicable when it comes to building your brand. And everybody says, and I say everybody, but it's, it's a good amount of people. Not all people have this mentality, but we're, we live in a society where numbers are so big, right? Everybody's comparing sizes of their following, right? To where it's like, oh, you have 100,000 followers and I only have 1,000. It can be very discouraging. And I need you to kind of step out of that mentality and take a step back and kind of view this as a long-term marathon. Now, I know that that's overused and a lot of people say, you know, it's a marathon, not a race but you need to go at it with aggressive patience to where although you do recognize that it is going to take time, you're still going to be taking and doing more than what most other people are doing. They kind of take the marathon approach so they can be lazy on the day to day. Now, I do not want you to turn into one of those individuals and to further cement this idea, I'm going to ask you a question. Would you rather have a million dollars right now or a penny doubled every day for 30 days? Which one? Now, most people would say a million dollars, right? Because they're like a penny, okay? A, a penny doubled is like, it's still a penny. It's like, it's so small, it's minute. It, it costs more money to produce this thing than it's actually worth. But if you double that penny for 30 days, at day 30, you get $5.6 million. But for the first 20 days, you only get a couple thousand dollars because it's doubled. But then around day 20, day 21, it goes from 100,000 to 200,000 to 400 to a million to 2 million to 4 million to 5.6 million, right? Now, now the math is a little bit jacked up. You could look at the actual chart. I don't have it memorized. I'm not that much of a, of a geek. But what I'm telling you is that you had to wait and you had to have patience in order to get to that 5.6 million mark. But that is still a 500% return compared to that person who only chose a million dollars because it's like it's right now. It's a microwave mentality, a microwave, a TV dinner mentality. Most people would rather just take that processed crappy food, throw it in the microwave for three minutes, boom, they have a meal. Or the other side of things is the person who actually takes fresh vegetables and, and fresh items and fresh herbs and they throw everything into a crock pot and they have that crock pot cook for a day, cook for two days, cook for eight hours, 12 hours. By the end, that meal tastes so much better than that TV dinner and you also made it so you feel better about it. But we live in a society where most people, they see a penny on the ground, they'll just continue walking. They won't even go and reach out and pick up that penny, but that penny is the very thing that would have actually made them so much wealthier than just a million dollars. They would be worth multi-million dollars, right? 5.6 million is a lot more than a million. So 
to really emphasize that, I need you to understand that it's going to take time in order for you to get results. I need you to recognize that. That is like, if you, if you come into this wanting results right now, you're going to already be set up for failure. I've been on my journey for about three, four years now. It's like, it's actually coming up on the four year mark. Wow, it's crazy. Um, but it took me three years to finally get my shit together. It took me three years to finally figure out the things that I needed to figure out in order to build my business and build my brand and become the man who I know I needed to become. And I'm still working on it. I'm not perfect, but it's like, it's become, it, it, excuse me, it's becoming easier and easier. And I'm seeing more results as I grow older, but it took me three years to get into that state of momentum. And so the power of three, knowing that business and building up your personal brand is based around relationships. How do you get results quickly without having to spend 20 hours a day sending out messages and talking to new people, right? Some entrepreneurs and some public figures, you probably know who I'm talking about, will tell you to send DMs for four hours or eight hours every single day. But if you're just randomly sending out DMs, you're building up relationships and you're taking up a bunch of time and you're exerting all of this energy talking to these people, which it, yeah, it might be beneficial to a degree, but if you could go ahead and dial it back and get big results and start small and then eventually work your way up to that to where you're not going to burn out, that is the golden, the golden little fine line that you should operate on. So if you were to send out three new messages every single day for 30 days, you're going to be touching 90 new people at the end of the month. Now I'm not saying send out three messages to people who are in your following, people who are already in association with you. I'm saying go out of your way to target strangers and target people who you do not know, who do not know you and build up a relationship with them. You could go to Instagram, you could go through the, the location tag, you can actually say, okay, let's say you're in Los Angeles and you wanna connect with people in LA, you go to Instagram, go to the location tag, Los Angeles, you see somebody who's on Venice Beach, you can go ahead and shoot them a message and say, yo, I saw that you're on Venice Beach, man, I see that you're an entrepreneur, I am too, I'd love to connect. You wait for them to get back with you, you start engaging in a conversation, bam, that's a new, new person who knows you, you just built that awareness and that could also turn into a prospect down the line. So you do that to three new people every single day. By the end of the month, that's 90 new people. Now, 90 is not a lot, but I also need you to understand that 90 is a lot because if you were to put 90 people in one hotel conference room, right, pre-COVID, post-COVID, whatever, that would fill up a relatively large conference room for a hotel or a hotel meeting, right? That 90 is going to eventually grow to 270, to 540, to over 1,000. Because that compound effect, just like with that penny doubled, is also going to happen with your brand. And if you have a following of, let's say, 300 people, and you get 90 new followers in one month on multiple platforms or one platform, you're still growing your brand by over 3, 33%. That's a massive game. You have to kind of stop comparing yourself to all these different people and all these entrepreneurs who have been in the game for 20 years, you know, looking at them and being like, oh, they have a million, they have 100,000, they have 250,000. That's, focus on yourself first. Stop looking and trying to compare yourself with everybody else. That, that's a recipe for disaster. So you do that one thing, you send out three new messages, you talk to three new people, and you build up a little bit of rapport with them. You, you build up a little bit of trust. You learn about where they're from. What do they do? What are they passionate about? What are their goals? You show that you're genuinely care. You have a normal conversation with them, right? Like a coffee shop conversation. Remember when you went to networking events, you know, prior to all of this going on and you're like, you're sitting down with a cup of coffee, you're talking to them or you're going up to a stranger and you're talking to them, you're introducing yourself, you're shaking their hand, they're telling you a little bit about what they do, you're telling what you do. You build up that trust, you build up that likability factor, that no and likability factor. So you do that for 90 days. Now you have three by 90 and you're going to get 270. So in a matter of three months, you practically doubled your brand if you had 300 followers. But what you don't see happening is this 200, these 270 people who know, like, and trust you and who are getting value from you because you're creating content, doing your due diligence to build up your brand are going to be sharing who you are and you as the expert, you as the go-to person, or you as the entertainer who they like and they enjoy your content with all of their friends and family, you have these 270 people tell one person, just one person, one friend who they know, that is going to take you to 540 people. Now 540, now you've more than doubled your initial brand three months ago 
And then you're going to continue building up these relationships, but at this point, you can have a following that is going to share and market you and your brand and your business for you. You no longer have to do all the hard work because they are serving as your marketers. Now, every single person who ever shares my content or who engages with me, I love and respect dearly, but at the same time, I'm also going to be open and authentic with you because nobody else is going to tell you what I'm telling you because they're going to you know, feel like they're a narcissist or egotistical, but I know what content I am producing. I know what value I am giving to the people who are following me, and I know who I am. I don't have to worry about morals and ethics because I know who I am, and so the people who are sharing my stuff are able to see that in my brand, in my you know, personality, and so they have no issue sharing the stuff that I'm posting and you know, giving to them because if I win, you win, if they win, I win, and the more people who are able to get value from the content they share, they're going to automatically look at that person who shared that video with them with a little bit more respect because they went out of their, we, they went out of their way and they thought of them when they were watching a video, when they were going through their day, and that means a lot to a person. That means a lot to a person. So this 540, <coughs> excuse me, you go into this over a 12 month period, right? Now you're probably like 12 months is a long, you know, that's a lot of time. If you can take your audience from zero and scale it to 10,000 in a matter of a year, is that really a long time? You take and you work with 1% of that audience, that's 100 people. You work with 100 people at $1,000 a pop, that's 100 grand. You're meaning to tell me that 12 months to get a 10,000 people and to work with 100 people is a lot of time? You should just quit and give up. Go back to working a job. Go back to doing whatever else. Stop. Give up the dream on the entertainer. Give up the dream of being a rapper. Give up the dream of being an artist. I'll be honest with you. You know, I, I wanted to hit the $10,000 mark in six months and I recognized later on down the line when I was older that I was like, man, that was very ambitious. I'm not changing my goal though. I'm still aiming for that target. I'm still gonna hit that target. I'm working towards that. But I recognize that it will take time. But I'm aggressively pursuing that goal. I'm aggressively pursuing my success. Aggressively pursuing and quote, chasing the vision. Chase after my vision for what I want, but it will take time. So you do this to where you get 540 people now and you have them, excuse me. Oh yeah, totally jacked that up. But you have those 540 people tell their friends. So now you're going to be getting a thousand. And then at that thousand mark, that compound is just going to naturally happen where you continue giving value, you continue having these conversations, and these people are going to be telling everybody that they know about you because of what you have done for them. You go out of your way to have more impact and to change more lives and to deliver more value, that will be returned to you. That love, care, and appreciation is going to be reciprocated. But at the same time, it will be up to you to actually go and provide value in the first place. But the power of three, you send out three new messages to 30, for 30 days, you get 90 new people, and you continue building that know, like, and trust factor with them, and then you're going to eventually hit the compound effect, you're going to have momentum, and your brand is going to be well on the way. This works in business, this works in personal branding, right? You talk to three new prospects every day, by the end of the month you have 90 prospects, even if you have a 10% close rate, you're still going to be working with nine people. Nine people at $1,000 is still 9,000 bucks. You know what I'm saying? All of this and all of business is a numbers game. You have to understand that there are ratios, there are percentage rates, you know, if you talk to a hundred people, you're going to get one person at least who is going to work with you in some way, shape or form, or who is going to want to follow you until the ends of the earth. That's to be expected. Now, I'm not saying that people are just numbers and you should treat them as such like, nah, like don't, don't misinterpret my words. But at the same time, you have to have a level of respect for what you were doing and what you're offering. And that person is also going to respect your direction and what you were doing and your level of self-respect. Self-respect is mutual. If I see somebody and they're not going to give me their time, then I'm like, okay, they're busy and they probably do not see me lining up in their brand. They do not see me lining up in their current state. That doesn't mean that we can't work together down the road, but at the same time, you have to respect what other people have going on. And so when you're doing these messages though, you know, that this is a good point to bring up, you're going to have some people who do not want you to message them. That's okay. That's okay, take a step back, don't try to force a conversation with somebody and don't be that aggressive marketer on LinkedIn who sends out 100 follow-up emails. Have the self-awareness and have the common sense to know when enough is enough 
and then divert that attention, pivot that attention towards somebody who would want to work with you, who you're not going to have to force a sale or force a relationship with. You see what I'm saying? You know, if I'm working and, and I'm on a sales call with somebody, I'm like, hey, Johnny, on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being I'm ready to start right now, and one being, man, I don't care about you whatsoever. If that person tells me that they're a one, I'm not gonna to try to take that one and turn it into a 10. I'm gonna say, okay, I understand. Have a nice life, have a nice day. We'll check back in the future possibly. But if that person is a six or a seven or eight, then those are the people who I would work with and I would say, okay, well, you're a seven or eight. I can work with seven or eights. Let me go ahead and increase this to a 10. <clears throat> same thing in re relationships, same thing, as in, or same thing as in conversation. And so guys, apply this principle and you will definitely be getting results. I would love to hear your thoughts, comments, concerns, whatever in the comments section. Um, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, share this video on socials, and be on the lookout for a lot of training coming very, very soon. You know, I'm always open to new topic ideas. If you have something that I want to, or that you want me to discuss, let me know, I'm easily accessible. You can follow me on all platforms, at Isaac Mashman, and listen to Chase the Vision with Isaac Mashman podcast. Um, so yeah, until next time, much love.